Uh, hello, everybody. My name is uh, Professor Rani Bozek. I'm working in the University Clinic of Erlangen, and today is as editor of Bubbles, and I'm really happy to interview Ramina. Please, Ramina, and it's your turn. Hi, thank you so much for this opportunity, um, Aline. So my name is Ramina Behzad, and I am a third year PhD candidate at UMass Dartmouth. And I'm currently working on the effects of glycation and how glycation inhibitors also have effects in bone cells and tissue. Okay, cool. So this is basically what you will be presenting at ISBMR, right? Yes. So will it be a poster presentation? Do you yes. know they already at the presentation? <laughs> so yeah, this uh, this will be a, a poster that will be presented in ASBMR 23 in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, I have closely worked with my one of the greatest master's students in our lab to work on this project. And yeah, it will be presented. <laughs> cool, perfect. So maybe in the in two, three points, uh, let me know what is the key finding of, of your of this work. Um, so this work is basically um, talking about how diabetic patients are at higher risk of bone fracture, which is um, potentially due to poor bone quality and linked to the accumulation of advanced glycation and products or AGEs. So in this study, we have used human cadaveric tibia. And these samples have been incubated in ribose to stimulate a glycation situation. Then we have added vitamin B6 in three different doses to the ribose incubations, just to take a look at how vitamin B6 can affect the bone tissue. And also we have uh, used um, different assessments such as mechanical properties. And also we have used assessments to take a look at how the FAGEs have accumulated. One of the AGEs that was very interesting for us to look at was pentosidine. So pentosidine is a well-known fluorescent AGEs and it is one of the markers of AGE. So we developed a protocol to take a look at pentosidine levels in these samples. Um, with this, the key findings would be that our hypothesis was that the mechanical properties would be improved and AGEs and pentosidine would be reduced with the addition of vitamin B. However, um, we did not see differences, significant differences between the level of AG accumulation but once we took a look at the pentosidine level, the highest dose of vitamin B6 that we use, which was um, 100 millimolar, um, significantly reduced the accumulation of pentosidine compared to only ribose incubated. So this was very interesting for us. And um, also this um, improvement uh, was not translated in mechanical properties as we looked at the CRPI or cyclic reference point indentation, and we did not see the significant differences. But um, this is an ongoing study. We are going to look at other aspects of mechanical properties, such as fracture toughness, to make sure if there are um, differences with the addition of vitamin B6. And basically, well, it's super interesting. I'm really looking forward to see the poster. So what is the big picture or the implication of your work, uh, at least for, uh, for patient or as a translation aspect? So this is a very unique and interesting study because uh, this is the first study to look at pentosidine level from the samples incubated with ribose and vitamin B6. So this is unique. This is the first study and it opens up pathway to look at how supplements, over-the-counter supplements such as vitamin B6 can really affect the life of patients with diabetes and the bone fracture that is happening in their body. Yeah, I guess it's uh, quite interesting. Well, very cool study. Right. Congratulations, Hanina. Thank so, what so is uh, what is the next plan now for your career? So, let me know. <laughs> That's a very great question. So, I would love to develop my research skill to become a great researcher, and my long term goal is to help patients with their life, patients with diabetes, because diabetes is uh, a disease that is globally just rising every year because of diet, because of lifestyle. So if I can change the life of these patients, I would
be the happiest researcher ever. <laughs> yeah, super, sounds super great. I think I, I love what you plan to do. I'm really looking forward <laughs> to your career as well. So thanks a lot, Ramina. And I'm really, it's really a pleasure to, uh, to meet you and to discuss with you. Pleasure um, is mine. Thank you so much. So I would, with that, I would like to thank everyone for listening to this interview. And don't hesitate to contact us for publication in other platforms. Thank you. Ciao.